Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in the new Apex Legends new season 18. I hope this video helps you here, so make sure to watch it till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually and follow this guide without skipping any step for better results. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is keep your windows updated. Sometimes windows get buggy and you face a lot of FPS issues and updating your windows fixes all of them. So simply go to settings and then scroll all the way down to find windows update. And once you are here, simply click on check for updates and make sure that your windows is always up to date. This is a nice habit of keeping your windows up to date as it fixes a lot of bugs with the recent updates. If there are any updates possible, it will start updating and installing it. Step number two is the essential window settings. And for that, you need to go over to the gaming part, click on Xbox game bar and make sure that this is turned off. By default, it could be turned on and Xbox game bar consumes a lot of memory running in the background and you always want it turned off. Right beneath that, you will find graphic settings. You need to come over here, click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options as they will help you reduce your latency as well as improve your performance by using advanced features features and so much things other than that so just make sure to enable both of these options go back to graphics and down here you will find a list of all of the games installed on your pc what you're looking for is apex legends it could be already added in here windows by default adds all of those applications and game which utilizes your gpu in this list so you just have to find your apex legends right over here click on options and then click on high performance now in case you don't find apex legends over here you can click on this browse button and locate it from the installation directory now once again go to gaming part and then click on game mode and make sure that game mode is turned on you always need to make sure that game mode is turned on as this optimizes things running in the background allowing you to get more processing power as as well as improve your performance in the game and also it saves you from all of those pop-ups and notifications which you get in the windows by default all right step number three is deanimating your windows windows by default has a lot of animations and disabling them will give you an upper advantage on your fps so for that you need to simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once this option opens up you need to select adjust for best performance click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts both of these options will keep your windows low look intact but will disable most of the animations out there ultimately giving you a performance boost straight away step number four is system configuration and for that you need to simply search for system configuration on your pc then this small window will open right in front of you simply click on boot click on advanced options click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors of label for you guys this will improve your boot time as well as your gaming performance in the long run once you're done with that click on ok apply and close system configuration step number five is fixing all of your network issues with exit lag now i know apex legends could be really tough sometimes sometimes and you might face a lot of ping issues so for that exit lag does the job for you you can get it for completely free from the link in the description below for three days simply come here click on get exit lag once you've downloaded this application opens up like this you need to make sure that exit lag is turned on over here you need to search for apex legends other than that, you have a list of over 300 games to choose from in this list. Select the nearest region to you. So the nearest region to me is the Bay 01. Click on user routes within my country first. So if there are any tunnels possible in your country, it automatically uses it. And as you guys can see, I'll be getting estimated 30 milliseconds of ping whenever I'm playing this game. So it gives me a competitive advantage. And don't worry, this is completely safe. It doesn't get you banned and it works like a charm. Simply click on apply routes and then go over to the tools section, click on FP is boost enable the first third fourth fifth third last and last option and that will give you the best fps possible straight away so it just not fixes your internet connection but it also helps you boost fps and this is why i love exit lag once again exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription to keep using it but i firmly believe that the price you are paying for the subscription is much lower than the performance you are getting in the game and i personally recommend you guys to use it you can get a one month 12 month or six month subscription according to your own needs but if you go through the link in my description below you will get an additional 44 percent off on your first purchase so make sure to choose wisely 
All right. Next step is creating a restore point and it is as simple as it sounds and I highly recommend you guys to do it. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC, look for local disk C, click on create and name it Apex just to remember it and do this. This will keep your system intact in case of any data loss or any kind of issues. You will not lose your windows and you do not have to reinstall it. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. All right, next step is the Apex Legends season 18 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below so you guys can go and check it out from there. In case you are having any troubles downloading this pack, you can join my Discord server for a detailed tutorial on how you can safely download this FPS pack. So once you are here, just open it up, go in the first folder, which is the PC optimization folder, look for the CPU priority. And over here, you will find an AMD and Intel folders. You need to look for your CPU that you are using. And for that, you need to search for system information on your PC and then look for processor. For me, it is an AMD processor. So I will use the AMD folder, but it could be Intel for you. So I have provided both of those priorities you can go and check it out you need to run the one that you are using on your pc also in this you need to take a note of your installed physical memory that is 32 gb for me you also need to run the increased power efficiency as this will optimize the power being consumed by your pc and optimize it to get better performance so make sure to run all of these registries go back and open up the second folder which is the ram optimization and in here i have 32 gb ram so i need to use the 32 gb ram registry it could be different for you so i have left a ton of presets over here including the reset to default in case you don't like it third one is the programs and in here i have left a clean temporary files that will remove your temporary files and also remove runtime broker this particular service of windows is running in your background constantly it is just a microsoft permission software and you do not really need it so you can remove Remove it and save that extra memory on your PC. Start with right clicking and running this as administrator. And this will ask you a small pop up to delete all temporary files. You can simply press any key and it will start deleting them. It will clean your system's cache and it will optimize your games. Also, so do the same thing with runtime broker. So simply just right click and run this as administrator and it will do the job. Third one is the Unpark CPU. You need to run as administrator as well. And once this window opens up, you guys can see there are enabled and park core on my PC. Now Windows by default has a tendency to park your cores which are not being utilized. And it could be that when you are playing the games, some of your cores might be parked and that could be causing performance issues. So you need to open this application and slide this parked index all the way to 100%. Click on apply. And as you guys can see, there are absolutely zero parked cores and that will improve my performance. You need to enable all of the cores and that should do the job. So once you're done with that, you need to open the last folder, which is the launch options. You need to copy this whole text over here. Simply copy it, go and open up Steam on your PC, head over to your library and then look at Apex Legends. Go to properties and you need to paste this launch option right over here. Now you can do the same with your origin. You just need to go to the game installation location. So I'll tell you how you can do it. So simply go to the uh, install files, click on browse and that will open up the installation location over here and you need to create a text file named as command line.txt and you need to paste it in here if you are using origin over here now i have done it so i don't need it over here and simply close the apex legends and once you're done with all of those steps in the fps pack you are finally ready to go for the in-game settings so open up your game and follow the best in-game settings Okay, so once you are in the game, locate to the video settings and set the display mode to full screen, aspect ratio to your native resolution. You can always lower your resolution down to get extra FPS, but that is going to cost you quality. So I prefer playing on the native resolution as well. Brightness and FOB is personal preference, but make sure to slide the FOB all the way to the highest. FOB ability scaling, keep it enabled. Sprint view shake, keep it minimal because you don't want your camera to shake while you move. V-Sync, I highly recommend you guys to keep it disabled. But for many of you guys, triple buffered or adaptive seems really nice. So that's just on you. For the NVIDIA Reflex, keep it enabled plus boost. Anti-aliasing, keep it none. For texture streaming budget, you can always lower it down to very low or low until it feels good to you. For texture filtering, go all the way down to bilinear, ambient occlusion quality, anything related to ambient occlusion and all these things or volumetric, you always need to keep it disabled. Sun shadow coverage, keep it low. Sun shadow detail, keep it low. Spot shadow detail, uh, you can keep it very high. It doesn't really matter. For volumetric lightning, see just how I said, volumetric, anything you see, keep it disabled. Dynamic spot shadows, you can keep it enabled. And for everything below that, you can keep it low. 
because it doesn't really matter in the game. Once you're done with that, simply click on apply and now you're using the best settings available in Apex. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below. It seriously helps me out growing my channel. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.